The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Hi, this is Ian Rignon for an audio-only recording of The Intrepid Show for the 21st of January, 2022. Now, uh, the reason why I am re uh, recording uh, audio-only is because, uh, tinatamad uh, first of all, uh, tinatamad ako na mag-video recording uh, because uh, rec uh, editing a video is very hard and it's very, very uh, tedious. Uh, for someone like me who is an uh, who is not only an independent alternate uh, alternative media practitioner but also someone who is uh, uh, teaching college kids so uh, syempre work first and uh, these kind of things uh, can wait but of course there are a lot of things that are a little bit uh, in the priority list uh, all of a sudden because somehow it's uh, really concerning so the reason why I am recording uh, audio only is because uh, in the past few days uh, as of this recording the defense community the, the defense community or the defense uh, industry as a whole, uh, the defense industry and the defense community as a whole uh, are in the are in the forefront or in the uh, na natin ano uh, are uh, in, on the spotlight at this point because um, of two things, three if you would consider uh, <clears throat> Chavit Singson uh, donating two. Um, second-hand U.S. Navy uh, warplanes to our armed forces. So, uh, out of his own pocket, of course. So, uh, that's that. So, with that third thing out of the way, there are two. Uh, first of all is the BrahMos uh, missile system that India developed. Now, uh, there are two kinds of banters that I am uh, seeing on social media. One of them is uh, coming from the Pakistanis. And uh, of course, when we, when we tackle about Indians and Pakistanis, they will never get along. And, uh, and uh, that's the reality of it. But then again, uh, the, Def the Department of National Defense have uh, somehow uh, given uh, are about to sign uh, are about to sign something with uh, the Indian government in uh, acquiring these um, these uh, supersonic ballistic missiles now uh, which points us to our second uh, which points out to our second uh, banter or second kind of banter for this uh, for this uh, event and uh, pardon me as well if you're uh, hearing dog barks on the background I do have uh, a brand new microphone maliit lang siya but uh, you know uh, it's USB so uh, I hope this would work out uh, much better than uh, the laptop, uh, than the built-in microphone in the laptop. So, again, if ever there are still dogs uh, barking in the background, it's out of my control. So, that's it. Anyway, going back to the to the topic at hand. Uh, 
the second kind of banter that we are seeing is from uh, a comic artist named uh, Tarantadong Calbo. Now, given that uh, this guy is uh, very much, um, very much trying to uh, open a discussion regarding uh, a lot of things uh, that uh, in his, ano, in his, uh, or in, uh, in his own perspective is uh it would uh, would is needed to be uh or, or needs to be uh you know uh talked about uh anywhere whether in social media whether in social media whether in society in uh, general or whatever uh it needs to be tackled uh that's what i that's what uh his uh comic arts are uh, dealing with now recently he made uh, a comic uh, comic meme actually regarding the Bram the the acquisition the Philippine government's acquisition of the Bramos missile system and uh, basically uh, they're just uh, they're I mean the guy behind uh, Tarantadong Calbo uh, implied that it's that the purchase was probably uh, probably out of whim na parang parang budol siya sa ano sa Lazada o sa Shopee or whatever uh, even uh, even uh, including language that um, that is basically uh, pertaining to online shopping now the defense community went up in arms not necessarily but uh, they tried to correct and they tried to uh, somehow uh, tell tell this guy that um, it was already being uh, sorted out through the AFP modernization program and it's not uh, and it's not a purchase out of whim kumbaga nakaplano na siya it's just that it was delayed so what I really uh, what I really don't understand with uh, with critics like these is that uh, they try to they try to politicize everything they try to politicize even national defense which shouldn't be partisan in the very first place besides credit where credit is due sure uh, even those who are against the powers that be at this moment, uh, they have also uh, cried foul with uh, with what Tarantadong Calbo did. And basically, this is strike two. Because his uh, previous artwork regarding uh, Vice President Robredo's uh, talks with uh, generals... Uh, Gen- uh, with uh, AFP generals uh, was very much criticized by uh, by his ilk uh, so much so that uh, the people behind Tarantadong Calbo made uh, an artwork wherein uh, they uh, <laughs> they have this uh, they have uh made an artwork wh- wherein uh, a pink uh, where a paintbrush is painting a silhouette of an M4 in pink. Yes, the M4 assault rifle. Uh, they're painting it pink. Now, a lot of um, uh, Madame Robredo's uh, very sensible fans are calling it foul because uh, basically uh Basically, national defense is also a priority, not just uh, the response to this freaking pandemic. And uh, it rings true as well with this latest uh, latest artwork by Tarantadong Calbo. So, uh, so I guess the defense community is uh, trying to correct this uh, this uh, this mindset, and uh, for some reason. Everyone, regard uh, um, uh, an overwhelming majority 
uh, regardless of their political color, regardless regardless of where they are in the political spectrum, are agreeing that these the acquisition the acquisition of these missiles is for the uh, is for uh, national uh, is for the national uh, is for the benefit of national defense. It's for the common good. So why criticize something that is uh, for uh, about for the common good and uh, I'll deal with the uh, with this and uh, with the other topic later on uh, because last night or a few days ago another uh, another big wig candidate uh, by the name of Sara Duterte Carpio uh, told um, news media that if elected vice president she would probably uh, she would probably uh, uh, advocate for mandatory military service uh, the likes that are seen uh, in Israel in Singapore or in South Korea but uh, the Department of National Defense uh, replied to this uh, statement by Mrs. Carpio and uh, Mr. Delfin Lorenzana, the defense secretary, uh, said in a statement that traditional ROTC is um, is the solution for this mandatory military service. That would be enough because in the policy of the uh, Department of National Defense, they would like to have uh, an armed forces that is comprised of uh, uh, 20% uh, regulars and 80% reservists. So uh, that's basically that's the 20. Uh, that's basically um, uh, 28 20 ratio. They wanted to have that 80-20 ratio in the uh, in the manpower of the armed forces, and it's a very sound uh, response. And a lot in the defense community. And also some sensible Filipinos are saying that Mr. Lorenzana's um, commentary on this uh, on this political uh, political grandstanding, for the lack of a better term, is um, is very sound, very quote unquote based, and um, and very sensible. And I have to say, it is, uh, and uh, I have to say, it is rightfully so. Now, to to have a, to give a parting shot to this uh, to these uh, topics uh, about national defense and uh, national defense and uh, our uh, basically our uh, <clears throat> how do I say this? <laughs> Basically, our ano, our uh, response, or let's say our uh, <clears throat> our what should we think about when it comes to national defense is this. <clears throat> well, it is true that our national defense is paramount one of the top priorities that any government in the world should uh, should focus on because how on earth would you uh, how on earth would you have a good economy if your borders are not secure so that's uh, that's how uh, defense enthusiasts at the very least uh, see it and uh, aside from uh, looking for able-bodied and capable men and women to serve uh, to serve any country it is much better or it's much uh, it's much more important that these men and women are willing to uh, enter the profession of arms because ironically many who are hesitant to bear arms are usually quiet but willing to put their lives on the line if need be 
reserving their voices for war cries. While many who are itching to do so are in the streets to join the shouting, but might even consider self-preservation over sacrifice, either out of ego or out of spite for the powers that be. The old adage still rings true today. Si vis pacem para bellum. He who wants peace prepares for war. While open for interpretation, the phrase should remind us that someone would never allow a stranger with bad intentions inside his house, period. With that said, it is only proper that while a burglar has not yet peeped inside one's home, the owner of the house should make due preparations in the form of deterrence. At the same time, he should not only learn how to fight back, but also to be reminded why should he rather than why should he other than the obvious reason of survival. And basically that's what I wanted to say regarding these uh, two topics uh, about our country's national defense. With all that said, this is Intrepidi and Rinyon reminding you to, at all times, be vigilant and be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, and as always, Thank you for watching. See you next time, and I hope it will be a video. Ian out.